Hello, I'm at the airport right now and I'm traveling via Cebu Pacific. The ticket that I bought was about 30,000 pesos and it could be cheaper if you uh, don't include the meals. So what do you need to go to Japan? Of course, your visa is important but they only, organ they only accept organized tours right now. However, for those uh, coming in, maybe in the near future, who knows, a month from now, you need to accomplish the COVID certificate of uh, testing, which is uh, gonna be in, in Japanese. But uh, Kairos, K-A-I-R-O-S, diagnostic, will do that for you. You can check out some other laboratories who can do this in, uh, in the Japanese form. The agency is gonna give you the form and uh, automatically there are some, well, a few of them, a few laboratories who can, who can do that for you, which is authenticated. Also, you have to download the apps of my SOS. They will find out where you're staying, where you are. They're going to call you. I'm not sure this time if they're going to do that. But the last time I was in Japan, there was quarantine and it was all expenses paid. But this time, I believe there will not be any quarantine. So I will be posting from time to time what are the new events, what are the new places to see, and how is tourism like in parts of Nagoya and some parts of Japan, specifically in Tokyo. But I heard that in Tokyo, it's gonna be a little difficult because of the Omicron. But the weather right now is gonna be very intense intense my friend said it's 39 degrees celsius so we'll see how hot that goes